Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Out of Boston here, and today I'm back for episode number 53 of my Brooklyn Nets My League series here on NBA 2K16. So we're taking on the Toronto Raptors in the Eastern Conference Finals here. Taking a look at the uh, playoff statistics so far for both sides, you can see Toronto was led by Ben Simmons, the former number one overall draft pick who was picked by Toronto in the 2016 NBA draft. And you can see their overalls here, they only have three guys over in 80 overall, and I was, only so, I was kind of surprised to see Simmons was only in 83, so... We'll see the Raptors only won 40 games. They were a number six seed. Could be a bit of a light matchup for us, but they actually end up splitting the first four with us. We are going to take game five, though, and go up three to two in the series. So we do have a chance to clinch here with the game number six playing the first elimination game of the series here, as always. And so here we go, taking on the Toronto Raptors, a team that we finished 20 games better than in the regular season. But uh, they, they have put up quite a fight so far, and, you know, they still have Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan, although probably not quite as good as they once were, not that they were ever, you know, really an elite title contender, so to say. But, um, you know, probably not quite as good as they once were still, though, pretty good players, and then you add Ben Simmons into that. They have some really good wings. You're going to see in this game one of the adjustments I made as the game went along was to play Oladipo a little bit more with Chris Miles and Eric Bledsoe at the same time just because they're three perimeter guys, are their best players and their best offensive players. So we eventually uh, started playing small and uh, threw Booker in there. You're going to see in the fourth quarter we start playing small ball with only DeAndre as our only big and then we throw Booker, uh, Miles, Bledsoe and Oladipo out there. But it's really important to have three good perimeter defenders when they have all three of those guys out there. So that's why I found uh, Oladipo's presence to be pretty important uh, to get get him in there with the first unit as the game went along it's Simmons there with the offensive rebound keeping it a one-point game now 25 all is the score it's Kyle Lowry with the ball he's going to drive by Bledsoe dish it off to Valanciunas who was left open after DeAndre went to help out on the driving point guard Lowry right there now it is Isaiah Cannon I believe right there giving it off to DeMar DeRozan for the three-pointer and he knocks that one down on Toronto opening up a four-point lead but it's Oladipo finding Bledsoe and Bledsoe hits the shot from behind the line there cutting it back to a one-point game now Pierre Jackson with it dishes it off to Spencer Haas left-handed finishes good off the glass and Toronto opening up a lead here it's up to nine now Daryl Harvey on the inbound finds Ben Simmons cutting to the basket on the cut around the screen right there and that is going to put Toronto up by 11 at one point but we've got the lead down to six here by the end of the first half and that would be the score 55 to 49 here at the end of the second quarter you can see the statistics so far 19 assists to our 12 it's rare that we actually get out assisted by another team but uh anyway we had only shot three less shots than them in the first half, so I wasn't too worried about the turnovers or anything like that. Here we go now, opening up the second half. It's going to be more of a matter of if we can get some stops on this Toronto team. We have to stop their wings uh, from scoring, of course. Like I said, one of the adjustments I'm going to make here in the second half is playing more Oladipo, more of Patrick Beverly, more of some of our better perimeter defenders. Now it's Miles with the ball. He is another one of our better perimeter defenders. He drives and kicks it out to Booker, who's going to knock it down the corner three right there, making it a one-point game. Now it is uh, 72 69 it's a three-point game Oladipo with the ball dishing it off to Booker in transition stops and pops and gets the three to go Devin Booker started heating up here in this third quarter here he is from behind the line again quick catch and shoot right there knocking down the three putting us up by three but he turns the ball over there on the pick and roll and it's the other way Korkmaz with the pull-up jumper gets that one to go makes it a one-point game but still we are on a bit of a run right now 15 to 6 to be exact and it's Beverly from behind the line make that 18 to 6 he knocks down the three and we go back Back up by four now. It's a three-point game with about seven and a half minutes to play. And Lowry picks up the steal here. He is going to take this one himself and get the layup to go there, making it a one-point game now, 85 to 84. Lowry with it, dishing it up to DeRozan, cutting to the basket. And DeRozan, left-handed finish, making it a one-point game now in favor of Toronto. They take the lead, and it's DeRozan again fading away this time. And he gets it to go, putting them up by five, 90 to 85 here. But now it's 90 to 87 five minutes to play good bounce pass to Booker and one tough finish by Devin Booker but he gets it to go and we're tied up just like that once again this time at 90 and then check out the feed from Miles to Bledsoe behind the line and the Nets take the lead another big late game three from Bledsoe we've become accustomed to those and how about another one putting us up by four there 96 to 92 now is your score
Here we go, still a four-point game, and now three minutes to play, and it's Booker from behind the line one more time, up to 20 points on the night there, and uh, a majority of those can't coming in the second half. It's Simmons on the pull-up, knocks that one down, makes it a four-point game once again, about a minute now under a minute to play. It's a three-point game, Simmons with the ball. Look at the pass, it's Rosen wide open in the corner, and it's a tie ball game. Under 10 seconds to play now, Toronto would get the ball back, and it's DeRozan again fading away, and his shot is money. Toronto takes a two-point lead. Brooklyn now needs a bucket here to force overtime, or could potentially take a three, but it's Bledsoe all the way to the basket. He makes that two-handed finish, and that is going to send us to overtime, tied up at 106 apiece. This pivotal game, number six, is going to head to overtime, so here we go in overtime running. That small ball lineup that I mentioned earlier, and it's a pick and roll with Chris Miles, who gets to the basket there for the easy slam, and now it's a one-point lead in favor of Brooklyn, but Lowry creates some space right there and knocks down the open jumper. He makes it a one-point game now in favor of Toronto. It's Chris Miles pulling up here, but his mid-range game is cash, and he ties the game up once again now, 114 all, under 10 seconds to play. All oh, a deep low to the basket, breaking the tie, giving the Nets the two-point lead. And now Brooklyn has one defensive stand away here from advancing to their second straight NBA Finals. The Rosen's three, no good rebound by DeAndre, and that is going to do it. The Brooklyn Nets for the second straight year are moving on to the NBA Finals. They will represent the Eastern Conference for the second straight year. Only took 14 games for them to make their way through the Eastern Conference. They go 12-2 and two in the first three rounds. And things are looking up right now. They're going to take on the winner of the Lakers and Nuggets series. We will see how that one finishes out. But we've got some celebrating to do here in Toronto for the second straight year. Brooklyn will uh, celebrate in the visitor's locker room here. But you can see DeAndre holding up the Eastern Conference Champions Trophy very proudly right there alongside his teammates and assistant coach Kevin Garnett right there. Pretty nice to see. But here we go now taking a look at the end of game stats. And you can see here some of the individual statistics. Bloodsaw went off 26 points. He had a very big night. Booker had 20. He had a lot of those in the second half, as I've mentioned. And uh, Jordan with 13 rebounds doing his thing on the boards and defensively as well. DeRozan with 29 points on 22 shots. And then Simmons with 14 points on 12 shots. And Lowry on 20 points. Well, or with 20 points on 22 shots. We did a good job of holding those two in check. But anyway, that is going to do it. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the NBA Finals.